What's up guys, my name is Your Heroes and welcome back to more Call to Arms. It's been a wee while since I've done a Call to Arms video, exactly two weeks since last time I've done one. But today we are going to be doing something that I should, should have done on the channel a long time ago and I think it's something that should be covered in mostly every other Call to Arms video or every whoever does a Call to Arms video, it should really be covered. And that is how to use tactics of effectively in this game now what i mean by that is as in how do you uh, tactics like how to like flank the enemy or how to use vehicles well and i've done a few how to videos on how to use some vehicles effectively or how to use a mortar stuff like that but that's more of just how to use them this is how to actually put these uh, how to video how to videos and then put them into a uh, into action and use them tactically so i'm going to be talking about a few things and what i've actually done is i've done i've gone on to the call to arms community website and this guy here a big shout out to grab gr gr i don't even pronounce that but this guy right here he he actually has put a massive post of how to do tactics uh you know about tactics in the game and there's a lot of information i haven't really read at all but basically i've read kind of the few things that are really important in the game which i think for newcomers which is really important so the first things that he said is that of manual control now manual control i feel like is one of the most important things to do in a tactical stance or a tactical advantage so you let's say you are up against a bunch of enemies here and you're out number two to one so in this case i have two tanks and a couple of snipers and the enemy have a bunch of infantry three tanks and they're just outnumber me two to one um not you know realistic you know metaphorically saying so in this case what in the best way you should tactically use this is two ways if you are going to do if you're going to be successful and make your attacks well then your tactics have to be at least good now if you're a newcomer and you don't really know how to do this then this is what this video is for so what you're going to do is let's say you want to you're up against another tank or an armored vehicle you're want to going to take manual control of this by just pressing e on your keyboard which i've already discussed in a how-to video now what you want to do is that you will want to go into your first person mode so something like this where you zoom all the way in you do you don't want to be shooting like this because it is harder to shoot your targets even though there is a green a wee green circle there as you can see right in front of me while aiming at this wall i still think it's very very hard to see this and you'll you won't always hit your targets exactly 100 percent of the time so you'll want to kind of zoom in all the way and this gives you more of a chance more tactically to end your opponents quickly and effectively and also you can see that at the bottom here it shows the ammunition type that you've loaded two machine guns and you can use smoke which i still don't know how to use even though it says mouse four i don't know where that is but basically it's very effective it's very tactical that you do this because it will give you advantage on it will give you the advantage when you come up against a more experienced player and i think this is a much more tactical way of doing things and i would i would recommend that again that you you do it like take control and instead of like moving uh moving the ai like left and right over here because number one that the ai might not go where it what where you want it to go and number two it probably could get the line of fire of an enemy which means your tank could could be vulnerable to to fire and then you'll just lose a tank and then that's not very tactical of it so this is why i'm saying you should always take manual control of a tank and this is what this guy have said in this article right here i actually tabbed out but you guys can't see it for some reason um i don't know why um i'll you know what it's fine i'll take a picture of it and then i'll and then i'll put it up so don't worry you still will see it but basically yeah that's that's all that's one thing you should do another thing you should do is that when you have snipers what the guy also said is that you should take manual control again and kind of like the tank you should zoom all the way in and not like this because again there's no number one there's no wee green dot to help you but plus 
it, you're you're more accurate when you are. I mean, you could do this. It just means that you're switch sold your you sh you switch side on your shoulders, to be honest, which doesn't really help. It's not like a Call of Duty game, um. But if you zoom all the way in, this will give you the more uh this will give you a more tactical advantage, and you should be able to snipe out all your opponents like so. So if I'm going like this and I'm able to snipe like that. There you go, there's friendly fire, my shoot one. But see if I do like this, I, I I, have no idea where I'm shooting. And also, manually control your troops as well, but sometimes when you're starting the battle, get them into solid position, get them into solid cover first, and then that means you have the tactical advantage of holding out this position of where you currently are. So, those are the main thing, those are probably one of the main tactical advantage you should always have and also one last thing i should say is that if you have the opportunity to flank your opponents definitely do it if you've got one side if you're if you can flank on even both sides of it then you will have the advantage but if you're at number two to one what you want to do is maybe keep one tank distracted right here where you are and let the other tank flank around so that means you've got the, this tank taking the main hit of the taking the main um hit right now and and it's got all the attention where and with this tank you can flank around and that means you can start finishing off your opponents from the side and then you have the tactical advantage on that but of course this is this is for people who are kind of more experienced at the game but this is what i'm telling for newcomers to the game that these are some tactics that i would definitely use and would definitely recommend because if you're just going to go and head on most of the time you're you, you're probably not going to win your fights unless you're against an ai because a player if you're up against a player then you're definitely going to have a disadvantage when you're not using these tactics effectively and make sure you use them well so these are some of the things that i that you know that has been said in the post um that that guy shared and i've kind of just put them into action so that guy has said it and yes i'm kind of copying off what he said but th but i'm actually putting it into i'm actually showing you it and whereas he's just said it and a lot of my people just you know think might read it but not know how to actually do it so this is why i'm putting out this video just now so i can so i can actually show you of how to do this so there we go guys um this is it for today it is a wee bit of a short video but to be honest i'm running a long time because i have work and um, but of course this will be posted when you know when i'm done work or something like that so i really hope you'd enjoy this i really hope it did help for the newcomers who are new to the channel as well as I uh, hopes anybody that is new to the game that want to know how to ta have a tactical advantage on your enemies and how to win effectively as well. So I hope this has helped. If you want me to do more of this then let me know because I have a few other ideas which can also help you guys in a multiplayer and a PvP of how to do this. It could even be as um, more things such as like pinning your men down and how to do that and having those tactical advantages on your side. So if you want to see more of these then let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new because we'll get a shout out at every single video that I release. And also guys if we could reach we are almost I think we're at almost 760 subs. If we can reach to 800 subs before the end of May you know where my birthday is that would be absolutely amazing it'd be a nice birthday present as well for that so there you go guys that is it for today i hope you did enjoy that and also while i'm here i may as well do a few shout outs that i've got for you guys so if you don't know and you are new to the channel i will do a shout out on every video that i release and of course sometimes i don't get the notifications and that's just because youtube is just for some reason just doesn't let me see the notifications so if you guys want me to give you a shout out then make sure you hit a notification bell and there's like a button you have to press to make sure that i see it so just like a big shout out to vaum auto thank you very much for subscribing a big shout out to a name that i can't pronounce because it's in like chinese or japanese but thank you very much for subscribing so, uh, so i'm sorry if i you know i'm not able to read it i i can't read like chinese or japanese big shout out to ryan b1999 Thank you very much for subscribing. Again, another name that I can't pronounce because it's in Chinese. So thank you very much for subscribing. Or Japanese, I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm offending anyone, but I generally don't know. And I think that's it. So yeah, guys, that is it for today. Um, I hope you did enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. 
and yeah um stay tuned to more to the channel because i have more actually more gates of hell content coming especially with that uh update video i did a couple days ago of phase two coming out so i'll be definitely uploading some multiplayer gameplay some conquest mode for it so guys stay tuned to the channel for more and then and other than that thank you so much for watching and all report and i will see you in the next video see you later and goodbye